it's your girl Leslie, and today we're going to be reading Laughing Jack, BHMA, XOC Mail. Um, we're going to be reading Chapter 3 real quick, um, because I don't, like, I'm making this video a little bit early, so <laughs> I apologize how low my voice is. I'm a little bit sick at the moment. Um, the only reason it's 11 right now is because literally I have been coughing nonstop, and I'm like, you know what? Why not make a video and just call it a day, you know? Anyways, chapter three. The whole week I chilled doing absolutely nothing besides eating gummies, watching Scooby-Doo, and going to school. That is so me. I was walking to my door to go get the mail when I saw a letter bigger than the rest that had the words from UA. I smiled as I ran inside, ripping the letter, a silver disc disc fell out good evening young Ipso. it is i all night i've come i've come to congratulate you you passed with flying colors with with 80 villain points and 60 rec rescue points your total was 140 points welcome to your your hero academia you truly went plus ultra the hologram disappeared and I just stared where he used to be. Well, this is gonna be fun. UA day. I was on my I was on my way to UA, rolling in my huge hoop. I already knew the layout of the building, so I knew exactly where everything was. I was wearing my mask because when I got my uniform, there was a note saying you can't wear the mask, and everyone knows you do the opposite of what people say. <laughs> that dude. When I arrived at the school, I didn't put up my hoop and rolled it through the halls, looking people looked at me with amusement. I ignored everyone, though. When I got to the door, I jumped out of my hoop and dismissed it. There was a lot of noise coming from the classroom. I opened the door and walked in. People stopped talking and stared at me. I hear whispers. I look around my... A purple X's darting around. Some thoughts. People were entranced with the boy before then. They had never seen anyone so strange. The boy was wearing a mask, and the boy had pale skin. And he was wearing, he was wearing a hoodie over his uniform like it was nothing. But he looked like he was shaking. Back to Jack. I was shaking from fear. Everyone is looking at me. I don't like it. Same here, bro. Same here, bro. I looked around for a desk and saw one near the window. I walked to it and sat down. I was bored and there was ten minutes till class started. So I took out my fun cards and drew the Rubik's Cube card. Some people heard the clicking sounds coming from me and looked to see me playing with a Rubik's Cube. I was switching patterns here and there, trying to take my mind off the looks I was getting. People got other people's attention as I almost got done with the Rubik's Cube. Only a few more turns and well bam done. I set the Rubik's Cube down on the desk and all it took two minutes to solve it. People just stared in shock not expecting it. I dismissed the Rubik's Cube and it turned into a card again. I put it into my deck and shuffled it and I grabbed another card to see it was a balloon. I blew it and made a whale out of it and as I set it on the desk on the end of the desk. I was about to draw another thing, but was stopped when I saw a yellow caterpillar fall through the door, scaring the living shit out of everyone. But then introduced himself as Aizawa, our teacher. He then told us to change into PE uniforms, so I walked into the, to the room and grabbed one and headed to the locker room, keeping my head down. So many people. <laughs> That's like one of my friends, man. <laughs> Anyways, continuing with my stuffy nose. But I already said I didn't like how many people were there. I walked to my locker to change. I was about to put on my shirt until someone said, Dude, how are you so ripped but so small? I turned around to see people staring at me. I looked at, I looked at everyone staring at me. And I put my hands over my mask embarrassed and quickly put my shirt and ran out of the room with with my sweatshirt in my arms when everyone was outside azawa explained 
that what we were doing and a guy named Bakugo went up to toss the ball. I stood and watched as he threw it 702 meters. I watched him in curious Ah, uh, so strong. Not, bro. There's way stronger quirks out there other than the freaking TNT explosions. <laughs> Sorry. So, soon we started, and I was excelling at all of the activities. Soon, it was time for the ball toss, and I was supposed to go last. Right before it was my turn, Broccoli had a little outburst trying to catch Broccoli Boy, also known as Midoriya. I had learned everyone's name when they were called to throw the ball. People watching, I don't know that weird name, I don't know that word, as an interpretation, I think. As I pulled my cards out and pulled one, it was a warp. Simply, simple. I'll warp the ball into space, kind of like the Iraq girl. I think that's what Broccoli Boy said her name was anyway. I got the ball, I got the card and made a portal on the ground, though of space, and thought of space. I then dropped the ball into the swirling warp pool and it disappears, and it disappeared. People stared in amazement. What the heck is that guy's quirk? People said to each other, and Izawa turned the phone around, uh, and it was blank. What? I'm what? What did you do with the ball? With the ball? Izawa asked me. Oh, I know what happened. The warp must have malfunctioned. Oh, but I. I was nervous. How am I going to tell Izawa? I grabbed a stick and wrote on the ground. I think my car malfunctioned and cut off the warp. So the ball was kind of wiped from existence. Everyone stared in shock, and even the teacher. I put my head down in embarrassment. <laughs> what class is missed? You know what? You should throw Bakugo in that thing. Perfect idea to me. I quickly walked to the locker room and changed, walking out to lunch. I looked around for a table holding my box of gummies I had brought. Yeah, I'll eat gummies for lunch. Get on my level. Exactly, bro. I need to get on your level. I want to eat gummies or candy, whatever. I was about to give up, not looking how crowded it was when someone yelled, Hey! I looked over. It was Tetsu Tetsu. He was waving me over, so I walked over slowly. Hey, you're the you're from the gym. I didn't know you. I, hey, you're the guy from the gym. I didn't know you tried out for UA, Tetsu Tetsu said. I nodded nervously, yes. And sat down next to him. I held my gummies tighter as Tetsu Tetsu introduced people. This is Kendo, this is weird name, and this is Momo. Momoa. I don't think I forgot your name. I chuckled nervously and I grabbed Tetsu Tetsu's hand and wrote my name with my fingers, the letters. Your name's Jack? He said. I dropped his head and shook my head. Yes, he smiled and said, nice. Everyone at the table con had conversations, but I stayed silent while trying to open my gummy box of gummies. When I got them open, I poured them on the table and started to eat them, still through my mask, just enough to let my fingers go through my mouth. Go to my mouth. People at the table watched in amazement as I finished the whole gum box of gummies. Is that all you eat? Asked Kendo. I nodded my head slowly and hug hugging the box. She nodded, smiling, and said, I could never do that. You must really like gummies. I like them, too. I smiled suddenly, an alarm went off, and I jumped so high I fell off my seat. Everyone screaming and running. Must be alarm for attackers or trespassing? I thought as everyone ran past me. I got up and sat back at the table. Soon the alarm stopped and people calmed down and we were dismissed back to our classrooms again. The rest of the day went smoothly and before I knew it, it was my first day anyway, was done. So, um, that was a weird story. I actually liked it. Um, so I'm going to read chapter 10 because I'm kind of interested, but I kind of can't at the moment, y'all. So... Give me a second. Let me decide. Let me think through. And let me see. Like, decisions come in in three, two, one. I officially decided to start chapter four. Because, you know what? It doesn't even look that long. Anyways, guys. Let's continue on our journey. Um, Chapter four. It's been a few weeks since I've been at UA. 
and the balloon was still at the corner of my desk mainly because I swatted at anyone who tried to pop it, even the teacher. Right after that day of the quirk assessments, I was pulled aside by Principal Nezu. I didn't say anything as he lectured me, saying, You did exceptional on the quirk assessment, coming first with flying colors. But you need to stop wearing that mask and talk so you can get to know everyone better. I nodded, but still didn't talk. I snapped out of my flashback when All Might came in yelling, walking through the door normally. I sighed. Well, we will be doing hero training today, and look what came in. Suddenly, boxes popped out of the walls, and everyone yelled, Hero costumes! We were dismissed to change into them. I grabbed my box and walked into the changing room. I opened mine to look at it. I stared at it with shining eyes. There was a suit that kind of looked like my dad's suit when he was in the circus. There were black dress pants, a white button-up shirt, a black bow tie, and a blood red tail coat that had gold buttons and flowed down in tails that were strapped on the legs for my cards. I slid my cards in them. There were black dress shoes that looked really nice. There was a black top hat. And finally, there was a white mask with a big smile on it, and eye holes that looked like an upside down crescent. There was white gloves too. That sounds really cool. I have to admit, I looked great. I kept my head down and as I switched my mask and grabbed the staff that came with my outfit with all of this in on it. It was surprisingly easy to move. I know I can't send in a hero outfit, so I don't know how they got this, but whatever. I walked outside to everyone so I could start the activity. Everyone got at me in amazement. I was leaning in on my staff in a laid back position. Soon I'm going to explain the activity. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> I apologize, everyone. I don't know what's happening. It did, this is just an occurrence. When I'm sick, I apologize. I'm just having a real bad cold. I apologize. I have an appointment about it tomorrow. So I wish me luck after school. If I survive. It was continuing. Soon I might explain the activity. We were playing heroes versus villains. Heroes had to either capture the villains or disable the bomb before it times up to win. Villains had to keep the bomb safe or capture the heroes to win. Pretty simple, but there was an uneven amount of people. Would you like to volunteer to be alone? I might ask with hope. Nobody raised their hand, but I quickly did hold, did holding it high. I might stared at me and mumbled, "Geez, kid," and nodded. I nodded my head in approval when I might said, "You'll go last." Soon all the teams were called and people were starting their matches. Bakugo and Midoriya's hour was very interesting. It seems that they have a past. Everyone was was over quickly. Everything everyone was over everyone's was over quickly. Some people have created have been creative ways of winning, others not so much. As soon as it was my turn, I was going against Sodoroki and Sh- Shoji because they weren't in, they weren't injured at all. I was released to go to the building as a head start. When I got there, I took my cards out and drew three barrier cards, only, the only self-defense de- type card I had. I placed three on the ground and stepped back. There were flashes of beautiful colors until it disappeared to show a ring around the building that glowed on the ground. I nodded in approval as I walked inside uh, the building rooftop. When I got there. I sat on the ledge watching and waiting. Suddenly on my yelled, start. I smiled. I smiled. Have fun with this, Todoroki. I watched as Todoroki and Shoujo came into view. They looked at the circle in confusion. Suddenly, sh- some- Todoroki suddenly shot eyes at it. Everyone stared in amazement when the eyes went through the circle, not even putting a dent in the dome around it, around the building. And boy, 
I tell you how Todoroki, how shocked Todoroki looked. Shoji seemed to see this and looked around. He seemed to spot me on top of the building and pointed. Todoroki looked over with a glare. I simply waved. This went off for a while. Todoroki sending blast after, uh, after blast of ice. That wasn't doing any good and Shoji was punching the barrier, which only hurt him. There was only a minute left and I could see Todoroki shaking from here while Shoji was rubbing his hands in pain. I stood up and suddenly jumped off the building. As I was following, I grabbed a fun card from my pile. It was a hoop at- it was a hoop attached to a rope that attached to a pole bursting out of the building. I sat in the hoop and swung past Hiroki just to tease him. I wa- I waved as I spun past him. I could literally see the steam coming from his ears and Shoji's unbelieving face. I flipped off the hoop mid swing and flipped landing on the ground and a hand right and all my said time's up villain wins my ropes disappeared and the hoop was left i swung the hoop around to the barrier i waved my hands and it disappeared i noticed that they had managed to get the second layer of the barrier causing causing quite a bit of damage <coughs> i rolled faster to rookie smirking underneath my mask i rolled all the way to the changing room and change into my uniform. I don't think a lot of people like me in my class. I thought as I walked home, deciding to skip the rest of the day. So, there you guys have it. That is chapter 3 and chapter 4. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos, guys. Also, a little couple of announcements. One, I made more stickers and they're super duper cute. Two, I made a new type of slime. It is freaking... <coughs> it call, we called it cereal because it looked more like cereal than like any bomb. Anyway, continuing. We also, um, I also started making cards. I know the image right now. Two to the one to the one to the three. Shall we get started? You bunch of newbies. I stand... Yeah, that's kind of it. I'm going to probably read chapter 5 and 6 or just chapter 5 tomorrow, y'all. So, I hope you enjoy. Um, I might post a second video. I just really don't know. It just really depends, y'all. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, guys. I have to go, sadly. Bye and peace.